Holy Wire Mod. Holy Wire Mod here, and this is going to be tutorial 9A in the Lewis series, where we're going to be covering how to do HUDs, and we're going to be using the Draw library to do this. I'm just getting rid of this nonsense really quick. So, I'm going to ask you to recall from a um, tutorial in the past where we went over two different methods to define a function right here. The first one was to use this method where we say gm colon then player spawn with the arguments or there's the other method where we used hooks and this is kind of where hooks come in handy. So in order to draw HUDs we need to go on the client side because it's displayed to the client and we are going to do a hook and from that hook we're going to reference the add property so uh, we're going to get HUD paint, that's the title of the hook. And remember the second argument here is the identifier for the hook. So we're just going to call this HUD ident. It could be whatever you want. Um, so right here we're going to have function for the third argument and this is where we're actually going to put the code. So from the draw library we are going to be referencing the standard rounded box example. So this has a bunch of arguments inside. The first being the corner radius which is to say how much do you want there to be a curvature to the corners on your box so if you put zero there'll be no curves and it'll be a perfectly square box or if you want a little rounded edge to it you can put perhaps a 10, 5, um, the higher the number the more curvature there is so the next two arguments are going to be the x and the y position on which you want the box to appear I'm going to get that into that as soon as we go in game and check this out. Um, the next one is going to be the width of the box, then the height of the box, and then we're going to have finally the color which is a red green blue value. So if we want a gray box for example we put 120 red, 120 blue, 120 green, or red green blue whatever and then the last value is going to be the alpha so how transparent it is and remember all these values go from 0 to 255 so 255 will make it completely opaque to where you cannot see through it or you can have a completely invisible box if you put 0 so I'm gonna put 255 just so we can see the box and let's go jump in game and see what that looks like real quick Alright, so we are now in game, and as you can notice at the top left hand corner of the screen, there is a gray box which is 100 units wide and 100 units high. Units being pixels in this case, because we should reference my screen resolution, which is actually 280 by 960. She can confirm right here. So 280 by 960. Now, if I want to move that box, take reference to these first two numbers right here. Right now it's at 00, zero which means uh, there is no offset to where the box position is. Now, remember my screen is 1280 right here, and my position right here would be 960. Now, if I were to just put this, the box would be off the screen. See, you can't see it because that's actually it's actually in the right hand bottom corner, and for me to actually get it there, you have to subtract the x and y values from your width and your height. So let's do that. And right here, now you can see it's in the bottom right hand corner. If I went in the top right hand corner, what I would do is I'd put 0 here. And if I want it in the bottom left hand corner, as you can probably guess, I would put 0 right here in the x coordinate. All right. Now, to make it easier to where you don't have to do an exact number, because not everyone's resolutions are the same, there is a very, very useful function right here, which can get the screen's height and also the screen's width, no matter what size it is. So if I do this, it's going to be in the bottom right-hand corner. So let's say, for example, let's get rid of the rounded edge and make it perfectly square. Let's say for example I want to cover the entire screen and make like a fog effect or something like that. Well you can easily do that by simply putting this as 0, 0 to put it, the box in the top left hand corner 
and we will put the width right here and we'll put the height right here and it's going to cover the entire screen now there's something I need to do which is to actually make it transparent to do that I'm going to put 120 transparency right and now we have a fog like effect which is pretty cool so if you want to go crazy with this idea or if you want to change the color you can actually uh, make it red to look make it look like you took damage or or to emphasize how many times this actually updates in a second I'm going to show you something pretty fun. So we're going to use the math library, it's random, which is going to take a random value from 0 to 255 because each of these values right here, remember, can be 0 to 255, so we're going to copy and paste that. And you're going to see Rave Break. Okay, enough of that. So anyway, just to emphasize some further points, if you were to take put that back to 120 to make a gray if you were actually to take another rounded box with a control D and I would say this one's going to be a hundred by a hundred when you draw the box and put it below this line there's an order of operations here so the last order of operations is going to be the box which is on top so I'm going to make this a black box so you understand what's going on and we're going to make it opaque so let's do that and the black box is now on top of the first box that we drew and so if I put it right here just to emphasize and hammer it into your head now you can see it's kind of grayish that's because the gray transparent box is on the pure black box so the next thing I'd like to emphasize just to kind of close this out before we get into the surface method is to do simple text. Now this is the draw methods way to do it. Uh, first you would put whatever you want the text to be. So whatever you want the text to be. Or you just put whatever for short. Um, next you're going to put the font. Now there's a bunch of different fonts here. Right here I'm going to be using the default font right here. Uh, all these are um, they come in the game however you can make a custom font but we're going to be getting into that in the next video so let's go put this default in right here so we got default and then I'm going to put this the screens width divided by two so this is going to be the X position where the font is then you're gonna have the Y position so I'm gonna put the height divided by two and that's gonna center the font because you're taking the total width and a total height and dividing it by two so you're gonna have the font in the center or close to it as you're about to see and we're gonna set the font to a color white so it goes very nice over our gray background with no transparency and the last two is the X and Y alignment and I'm gonna get into that in just a second so let's show you what this looks like so as you can see we have whatever now notice that the whatever in real into uh, relation to the crosshair is to the bottom right hand side and that's because of the alignment so if I were to put whatever or if I wanted to put whatever in the exact center I would then go to text enumerations right here and I would take text align center and then I would go and put it in place of these zeros and then you'll see that the text is aligned in the center with the crosshair so if I want to put it in the top or a little bit more up I would then affect the Y position right here and it's kind of odd how they do this but if you want it to go to the top you need to align it at the bottom or you need to set it to align bottom so let's save that so now it's at the top of the crosshair and if you want it at the bottom you need to put align top so that's what align text does and that's going to cover pretty much the basics for this stuff I'm going to get rid of all this so we can make room for the surface stuff in the next tutorial but I hope that explains what you need to know for draw. There's more functions that I didn't go into because draw is not really that popular. So anyway, I'll see you guys next time.